Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial we're going to be talking about multi-dimensional arrays. Now the best way for me to explain this is think of a graph. And on that graph you have points. So let's say you have the point 3, 5. Well when you make a multi-dimensional array it's pretty much a graph. So when you reference point 3, 5 you can hold an item there. And you can also hold an item at 3, 6 or 3, 7. And it's just a big 2D graph of um, different items that you want to store. So let's go ahead and make a little demo project and work some with multi-dimensional arrays. So we'll go ahead and select New Project. And we will select Windows Forms Application. And we will set the name to, um, let's just do, we'll do 2D arrays. And we'll go ahead and click OK and wait for that to load. OK, so we'll go ahead and shrink our form a little bit here. And we're going to add a button and two text boxes. So let's go over here to our toolbox. We'll select button and where's the text box? Right here. And we'll add another text box. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and shrink this down a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and set the text property for button one to um, get array element. And we'll make it bigger so it'll all show up. And we will set the name to button get element. And we'll set the text box one to um, text first dimension. And the next one to text third dimension, I mean second dimension. Okay, so we'll go ahead and double click on get array element and we will zoom in here. Now let's come up here and create an array. Now this isn't going to be any type of array, this is going to be a multi-dimensional array. Now the way we do this is we can type the, word, the keyword private, then we will type the name of our array. So we'll just type um, multi-array and now inside of our parentheses we're going to specify how many dimensions it has. Now we can do this by just typing two and comma two and now we have to specify a type so we'll just do string okay so what this means is that the array is going to have is going to be too long and two down so picture a grid and um, picture it three across and three down so a square of three across and three down because this starts with zero so it goes zero one two across uh, zero one two and zero one two so our uh, bottom right hand corner, corner of that would be 2, 2 and the top would be 0, 0. So let's go ahead, uh, this might be a little confusing to you, let's go ahead and assign some values for this. So we will type multi array and we will assign 0, 0 and we will set that equal to hello or let's do um, position zero zero and we will do that for some of the other spots in the array so we'll do zero one and then we will set the text to position zero one and we'll do that one more time and let's just copy this Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to show whichever one they've picked in a message box. So they will type the, let's say this is the X length, um, because we're looking at a grid. So this right here would be X, and then this right here would be Y. And if you have a three-dimensional array, you could use the Z, um, the Z line, but we aren't doing that in this tutorial. So this is the X position, and this is the Y position. And 
unlike a normal grid which starts in the uh, in the middle let's say you have like a, a cross um, in Visual Basic it's just like a big square <laughs> So in Visual Basic, it starts from, let's say, the top right-hand corner. So it would start up here, and it would go like, let's say, three across, and then two down, instead of starting in the middle. So let's go ahead and get what the user has typed in. So we'll type message box dot show, and let's come up here and store what they typed in a couple of variables first. So dim exposition as integer and we will set that equal to uh, C type. So we're going to convert what they got. We'll type text first dimension dot text and then we will convert that to an integer type. So then we'll declare Y position as integer and we will convert the text second dimension dot text to an integer okay so now we're gonna go ahead and show the position so we'll type message box dot show multi array and then we will type X position and Y position so what this is gonna do is it's gonna get the string at um, whatever they typed in for X and whatever they typed in for Y now currently we only have three possible answers so let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. So we will do 0 and 1 and get array element. We get position 0, 1 and we can do 0, 2 and we get position 0, 2. So go ahead make some multi-dimensional arrays um, and you can fill in each of the items in the array. So if I were to um, fill in the next part of the array I would do something like one zero and then one one and then one two and then uh, two zero two one two two so go ahead you can make that and set the values for it and uh, make a little program that lets you type in the X position position and the Y position so that you can get whatever is stored at that um, and then once you've practiced a little bit with multi-dimensional arrays go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching